junkie. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Huh? Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? My info is I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? so he can smell his own fear before he dies. Want him dead, why exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get out of jail free card over my dead fucking body. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public. Don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. You don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them! Step on it! Stay on him! Don't let him get away! Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Huh? Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? My info is I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. 
I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public, don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. You don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them! Step on it! Damn car! Fuck! Break! I said! Break! This is it. Let's go. Stay close! I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the guy, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right. Let's just all shoot holes in each other. Out loud? Fuck! We can't leave him here. Media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are and get that goddamn semi out of here! We take him with us. What? You, you want me to come with situation. you? <laughs> I need you. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, another word from you, and I am calling the studio. Gregor, don't make me ruin Busted your career. Busted an attempted hit on my guy. Nobody, and I yeah, mean nobody, no will harm Bill a hair on your head. No priors, but run a deep sweep uh, just to be sure. Borrowing you. Thanks. I owe you. No patrol car, and stay off the frequencies too. What Can't have this coming this? back. <sighs> What's your name? This, this v. A fucking mess. Josh Stevenson. Would you drop it, dickhead. But you probably knew that already. Listen. You are fucking listen. Associate. What was his go. name? Boys from the precinct will mop up. Beryl Jablonski. Ring a bell? Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him. Out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. 
Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. Gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object, strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right. I'll go with you. Uh, move it! We're running late! Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? You could say that. Sure. Then you will understand exactly what I'm trying to do. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. I still don't get why you're telling me this. I want you to understand what I am about to do. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. I still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. Don't like Rachel. She's got the gift of the gab, surely. I'm merely a springboard for her career. <laughs> a high-value asset. You're the one I want to talk to. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force you to stay. We're almost at Gloria LMR's. Give me a moment, I need to prepare. Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. Zuleika? You're... late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleika. V, pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Recent acquaintance, more like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! We've 
We've just received word on a breaking story. A Cantau AV has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby Incorporated press. The result of catastrophically heavy rains and floods plaguing the region. Local authorities are under obligation to provide nearly 80 million bushels of their crop to Biotechnica, the engineers behind the frost corn hybrid species. The city of Juno now faces a difficult choice of whether to honor the agreement, causing severe shortages in the last Hello, Night City. Jordan with an N54 news campaign update. Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? A uh, glass of water. Please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You're the reason Joshua found redemption. It was her letter that started everything. I lost a brother. God gave me another. It's not every day you run into a true believer in Night City. It was Providence that brought you under my roof. We met because of him. Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? For all I know, there could be a higher power out there. But nobody's been able to prove it. No one ever will. Faith is something no one but you can prove. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. I still don't get what's happening here, Zuleika. When they put Joshua away, the scream sheets devoted space to him on page 5. But when they discovered he'd found God, suddenly he was on primetime TV. What's wrong with using a platform to tell people about my faith and God's grace? Hmm? We are way past that, Joshua. Instead of being executed in prison, he agreed to let Braindown Studio Vultures record his agony as he's being crucified. This is insanity, pure and simple. It's the one thing worse than insanity. Blasphemy. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God! It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. 
Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! We should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child, my son. Let's go back to the car. I just wish I could have talked to Gloria and explained everything. If somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Where are we eating? Uh, Pai Z. They do a great cup of coffee. Gotta kill a cheesecake at Pai Z. I'm lactose intolerant. How about vegan avocado ice cream then? How well do you know the city? You can't know Night City well, ever. It's always changing, always surprising. Part of its charm. Hmm, <laughs> true that. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Wait up a sec, I wanna talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Need psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. I think he might be more self-possessed than you think. Look, you're no shrink and neither am I. We're both just out to get paid. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Joshua deserves better company than us. Come on. Two sinners is just what Jesus of Arroyo needs. A thief and a terrorist. I'm in. Making waves and taking 
Open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. Vasquez. He blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have some solid dirt on him then. And the studio majority stakeholders a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. This brain dance. I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. How so? Well, Stevenson's furlough is only so long, we can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run-up to the finale with BD doubles and Nemo Bank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How's that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM. Infinite investment in tech. Couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. And you, get any say in all this? He forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. They'd originally opted for John. Guess that's, uh, important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. An explosion of so what does he want to convey exactly? That Christ was merciful and continues to die for the world's sins. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, why, I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Didn't take you for one with a spiritual side. You being, well, you. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? tell you exactly why. No, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel. No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen, but it's still corporate exploitation. Your cynicism is starting to wear thin on me. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seems to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nutjob or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck. Kill me, please. Come on. Serious question. What? Why? 
So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. The truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. Uh-huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it making? A messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? Got no fucking idea what it was. And neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. <laughs> One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You dropped to your knees before God. I drop them. Pop them right between the eyes. Show. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche. Possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead or alive till the last existing digi ghost of you is shredded? Meaning, like, am I gonna ascend to digi heaven? Descent to digi hell's more likely. But yeah, there is life after death. A silver hand already live in the afterlife, and I'm talking to his animated epitaph. I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise. To me, I'm just that. To me. No netherworld, no happy wonder world. Just duped digital psychics. Weird as fuck today. Just kinda unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. Fury! your instincts! Hey, Misty. I happen upon some more murals. A little different, these. Can't say exactly how, just At sunset, different. They strip off mm. their clothes and death Describe what you saw for me. Giving in to an animalistic ecstasy. Then, once they've transformed into the So, um, beast, saw hooded figure, hunt, star, pentagram behind him. Devil's dealings, your area of expertise, too? With ferocious mm. speed, the king like of pentacles. In the night. Having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that, dangerous fee. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. Hmm. Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard? I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. 
But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you remain true to yourself. Better shut your fat fucking mouth before I put your six So there was this figure seated, holding this thingamabob, like a club or a scepter or something? The King of Wands? So that suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims, or even some grand vision. Okay, good or bad? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. But it implies a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. Saw this figure sitting there with... Dunno. A goblet, maybe? Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite. Manipulation and spiritual crisis. And V, hun, the last thing your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. So, we saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Mmm, you've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. <laughs> Something good? Well, the King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. Thanks, Misty. I guess. Still gotta wrap my head around this. You know where to find me if you need any help, V. Hey, Misty. I happened upon some more murals. A little different, these. Can't say exactly how, just... different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. Sheesh, you're a real chum, Misty. Thanks. Great insights. Still not sure what to make of what I saw, though. Well, I think you're caught between strong personalities, warring ones even. They all want to influence you, though not all of them necessarily know it. <laughs> Nothing new there. Don't dismiss it, V. You've got new possibilities to explore, new paths to tread. On the way to either your salvation or doom. The choice is still yours, though. You still shape your life, your fate. So what do I do? What's the right path? Just be true to yourself, V. Your heart will know the way. A life-changing event is likely imminent. Watch for it closely.
It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? You look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. Right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse the true Anna with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there. Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about a silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike but you can't you. ignore the truth. Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor. Sorry, now. but this is gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your noble summer. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to your noble summer. Consider Oda. your what? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not, but I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Well... Can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, 
perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. It could sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all night city. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer dame. Wakaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Experience real. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Hey V, recon's in our rear view now. Get yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure, see you there. G Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? <laughs> I was just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. I miss the sound. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. 
give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe, B.
Attention all Dogtown residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Here's to you, Canalito. Good news. Yesterday we completed some necessary repairs at the hospital. Two months of hard work have finally paid off. Starting We had this convo. I do. Ah, B, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Back on the same page, are we? Not exactly. Brings back a lot of memories, all this. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked in Op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the op there? We had our sights trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's... a long story. I think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell. Might even learn something about Somi that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his dopamine. Spending big money on Kit's luxury was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, Who's a good boy? Then, she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. Worked out though, right? We're all here, now, together. Hmm, which can't be said for Hernandez and his men. We took any possibility of that from them. All thought of subterfuge went poof. We had to kick the door down. A rival cartel wiped them out. That was the official version. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Parsed the intel from the shard Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here is your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. 
I know. And not just her. Ladder goes for you two. Right. Our objective. To free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Myers. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Plan. Let me hear it. Hanson to meet with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close. To Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinosure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NT, an exploitable opening. We're going to track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. And you're rolling all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your X-Flow route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem-free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen. Right. Where you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Then to disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress-up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at this stage. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird? We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as self. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talk nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly, still wondering why neither of us went back to D.C. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep, saddle you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will, is that right? It's not wrong. So we serve Hansen up on a silver platter, it'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways, we're royally fucked. 
Welcome to the Agency. You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks. What's his true aim here? Save him so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. Hmm. And so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those? We find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. So, breach the station, trace the car. Good. What then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. tissue with implant technology. But the experts at Bondine have created more. There's prices in Dogtown. Uh. Certified research. B. Heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your Relic's firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry. Completely painless. Sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay, need to Delta. We'll see you soon. This is Kurt Hansen. You are now in Dogtown. Rule one.
Well, here we are. You and me, face to face. Sure we're alone. Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. Means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. Swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it, every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn, actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it, Brooklyn. Hmm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape, just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasted funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He's shit talking one of his tunes. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Yeah. No feeling. Got a place you hold close to your heart, too? Not a place. That was always changing. But people, sure. Memories of home. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Songbird, need you to be straight with me. I... I helped Hanson spring the trap on Myers. My end did the deal, in exchange for the neural matrix. I down the plane, deliver Myers, yes. But blast her out of the sky, then hunt her down? Wasn't what we agreed. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers yourself too, almost. Ground the plane. That was the plan. Didn't expect he'd... blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run. All before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but... As soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. It fucked everything up, I know, V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Wasn't any other way, honestly. Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. For Myers, the NUSA, I'm just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. 
certain weapons and tools, they don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Sounds... sounds painfully familiar. I think I know how you feel. I doubt anyone understands this feeling as well as you do, V. You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. I have nowhere to go back to. I want to ask, actually, what happened exactly? You know, when you reached past the black wall. Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. Mean losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Sometimes I, I lose control. Or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else. But it feels horrible. Felt it too, with the chimera. Like a living nightmare. Yeah. More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Don't trust Reed? Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Uh, join his serve or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed, he died too. Just more recently, seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence, yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed. From everything. Speaking of, out of everybody out there, you saw Hansen as a trusty ally. Seriously? I needed someone who could tear me from Meyer's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain gonk wanted that. That's why I enlisted you, too. Night City's just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved, or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? Be nice to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then? You helped me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... 
That's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? Should be pretty clear. I mean to survive, too. I appreciate your honesty. <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hansen. B? The information from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. status report so me contacted me got news let me hear it well first off we've been greenlit our VIPs ready to be served music to my ears what else songbird opened up a bit about her sitch it's looking bad <laughs> real bad this text's her only shot I hear you I do all the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us Get our hands on that cure. But Reed, what Somi spilled, we really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. We need that car tracking, so get to work. We'll go from there. Once you get the encryption key from this system, let me know immediately. What's up? We've got a crisis on our hands. Could really use your help. Stevenson's had a breakdown. Nothing any shrink can do about it. Can you come here to the studio just to talk to him? Fine, sure. On my way. He said he'll come. Thanks, V.
great. Just great. Got a problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Looking for something? Won't find it here. It's nothing to find. Transceiver. Need to jack in quick. Two secs and I'm gone. You do you. I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah, turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Thanks, but no thanks. Be fine on my own. Sure, sure. Yeah, totally. What about ten? I'll help you for ten eds, too. <laughs> okay. Eddies are all yours. Nova. Done deal. So? Switch. Where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it.
What the fuck? My PD! No! <laughs> no, yo, yo! Don't even think about flatlining here! I'm gonna touch a corpse! Uh, uh, this... Uh, this gotta uh, be what having a fucking stroke feels like. We're back on, baby! Perfect, Johnny. Thanks. Wasn't on purpose. Just gotta pick up the pace. Clock's ticking. I'm doing what I can.
Enemy collaborators have infiltrated the dog town. That means NUSA five and agitators are in your face. Keep your eyes peeled. Hey, you made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Appreciate the invite. Glad to see you, Alex. Sweet of you to say. I wrote you because... Because I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission, not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So, what you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. I just want... to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. I like the sound of that myself. Just shed this skin and leave the Night City murk behind. Hey. Yeah. Like, who are you anyway? Huh. <laughs> good question. With all the shit going on in my life lately? A damn good question. Definitely too soon to know for sure. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now, if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Maybe I'd still be with my family, out on the road. As in nomads? Mm-hmm. The backers. Probably somewhere in the Midwest right now. Scraping together a few eds from the corn harvest. Then long conversations over beer. Isn't it time we joined Snake Nation? <laughs> Soaking in that big sky. Or the stink of chew in some rat hole motel. <laughs> or that. To your health. Okay, now you. Who would you be if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old fashioned. So yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Ever acted before? Outside your agency assigned roles, I mean. No. Not for more than an audience of one. Just dreaming of being under the lights. Where everyone's watching me. But I know, and they know, it's all make-believe. To our dreams. For they alone keep us sane. Ain't that the truth? I love this song. Don't do this often, I'm guessing. Bustin' moves? <laughs> Can't say I do. What gave it away? <laughs> Wasn't thinking of dancing, but never mind.
We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. See you soon, B. Rachel's been waiting for you. What's going on? Josh, you all right? Don't fucking know, don't fucking care. Get in there. Well, some people didn't like the idea of recording somebody's agony road. Bunch of killjoys, that's all. Billions are gonna watch the brain dance. Studio's not afraid of a scandal, getting caught up in it. Are you kidding? Scandal's what they live for. I'd be out there too if I could be. But I got a family to look after, and the job's what it is. Where do I go? Straight down this street, building with the officer out front. Thanks. you look more I don't know professional nothing's missing whatever get in don't worry Olga we'll fix this trust me we'll be on schedule helps on the way finally we're late Stevenson's been asking for you all day he's in his dressing room go talk to him Wanted to see me? It seems you're the one friend I have. What does that say about me? What exactly is going on? What am I doing? Why, why am I here? Or maybe I am insane after all. We uh, don't have much time. Got pure intentions, I know, but you're putting them to waste doing this. Something like this. It's just not worth you dying for it. It's too late now. There's... there's no going back. I'm... I am so afraid. Will you pray with me? A prayer of your choice. Fine. Sure. Our Father, who art Our in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy on will earth be done as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this bread. day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into and temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us but from deliver evil. us from evil. Amen. Amen. Time to start. Let's go. I truly hope Zuleika is praying for me now. 
Will you stay with me? To the end, I would like you to wield the hammer. Nail me to the cross. All right, Joshua. I'll do it. <gasps> Thank you. <sighs> Let's do this. You're gonna have to say some lines. A few. We'll put them up on the prompter for you. Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and save us. Do you not fear God. You stand condemned under the same sentence. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. We are punished justly, for we receive what our deeds deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. <laughs> Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Amen. Probably my hardest gig, that, but I got through it. What now? Going home, where I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. You shouldn't release the BD. The world shouldn't see it. That's not up to you, that's not up to me. I'll call you.
and M. Hey. Hello, V. Ugh. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. Yeah, it's been a long day. Call you back. Right, go ahead. V, one other thing. You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you deets for a clinic. A doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. She know you came with my blessing. You free to... Yes, and we're closed. Thought something might interest you. I doubt it. Here you collect trinkets. Unification warrior. Mm-hmm. Come in. I'm sorry I was unwelcoming. Ever since a certain space plane crashed nearby, I've had to be more cautious. V, good to see you. Huh. Here to see me? Things are in flux. Situation's changing faster. I thought we should talk. I'm here about Somi. I spent hours wrapping my head around this. Putting myself in her shoes. I needed to understand what she must have been going through to... to resort to treason. B, 
Basing your expectations on the woman you used to know, not on who she is today. Common denominators remain in place. She's trapped. Not just here and now, but going months back. Hell. Actually years. I blame Myers, a sore loser. Does her damnedest to avoid it. Songbird, the black wall, dirty tricks meant to give her a competitive edge. It's no wonder Somi doesn't trust anyone. Except maybe you. A little. Song should trust you, not me. That it? I can't say I really blame her. I can only blame myself. But could you have done anything differently? Something. Anything. Instead of giving in and being exiled in Night City a couple thousand miles away. There's a prison cell prepped and waiting for her already. Somi knows that full well. She lives to see tomorrow and every day after. That's what matters. Myers needs her life, sure, but forgive and forget the attempt on her life? Never. Myers might not forgive her, but doesn't mean I can. You forgetting? Woman tried to zero you too. Her hand's been forced too many times in her life. She's due compensation. Okay. We break the chain Hanson wrapped around her neck. Then what? We stow away somewhere safe. Ask some questions. Establish some common ground. Once I get the answers I'm looking for, I'll personally help her disappear. From everyone, everywhere. Including Myers. Wanna ask you a few questions, huh? To understand her side. Got an idea already of what I'll hear. System broke her. Almost took her life. Like it did mine. As for me, well, my time's well past. But Somi's still worth saving. You know, some would call that treason. Tell me something I don't know. I got contacts in Europe. We'll find the best clinic, put you two back together, fix what's broken. Once we have your cure in hand. But I need to help Somi first. She's lost. And I'm concerned she doesn't know what she's doing. You don't trust her? What I don't trust is the shit from beyond the black wall and the attendant paranoia. Both in play here, I'm afraid. She has another plan in mind. I'm damn sure of it. So me, she reached out. Wasn't telling the whole truth before. Once out, off the grid. Has a plan for right after we take down Hanson. Gonna make a run for it. Slip out of Night City. I... Thank you, V, for your candor. This means a lot to me. I have something for you. Our best minds in D.C. cooked it up. Icebreaker. Silver bullet against any fortified netrunner. Farida will feed it into your system during surgery. Use that, and Somi will drop unconscious within a minute. We can't take any chances, and when she wakes up, she'll wake up at home. She could sense the breaker. Not talking about some run-of-the-mill runner here. It's metaheuristic, hyper-aggressive tech, cobbled together by a literal army of experts. If she does sense it, it won't matter. No one out there, alone, could withstand somebody like this. Sure this soft will work? Doubt it's been tested on anyone's songbird's level. From what they tell me, this program can anticipate what she'll do before she even thinks to do it. By the time you cut one thread, it's already found another. A precision-guided weapon designed to evade countermeasures. Okay. How do I use it? Oh. 
fire it up when you're both jacked into the mainframe. At that moment, Somi's door will be wide open. Two of you could just, you know, sit down, talk it out. That's my aim, precisely. After you kidnap her. <laughs> Not quite the same. We've come to a point where some options are simply off the table. Right now, we're focusing on saving your lives. Talking time will come later. It's time I was on my way. I leave you in Farida's able hands. Call me once you're done here. The sooner we begin, the sooner we finish. Okay, no time to lose. Tush, meet chair. Okay. Anesthesia incoming. Don't worry, it's the good stuff. Relax and submit. An ID modding implant is complicated tech, true. But the procedure is surprisingly simple. To be honest, never heard of tech like this. <laughs> Seems kind of... sci-fi. This an FIA prototype? Mm-hmm. It was picked off the corpse of a Militech R&D project. Militech abandoned it? That, or they sought to keep it off the books. Top secret. Mom's the word. Politics. Okay. Anesthesia is taking hold. How many fingers am I holding up? Not now, Johnny. Fuck off, please. You missed me. Warms the cockles. Truly. So tell me, what's it feel like to be a traitor? Interesting way of saying undercover FIA agent. Shit, actually bought into this. They send you to a fancy party, stroke your ego, and now you're some kind of super spy? What's next? Fucking gold medal? Ticker tape parade? A statue? A national holiday? Kids home from school? What the fuck? But seriously, found yourself in a shitastic situation. Come on, got iron in your hand. Gotta put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. The master spy and the agent unloosed. Tragedy, comedy, or both. Reed, I understand. But I don't get what you have against her. Let's just say I know where they're both coming from. Survival. It's her be-all and end-all. That, and she's a walking, talking nuke. The kind that keeps making mistakes, never knowing which one's gonna set her off. And Reed? Bastard and me are one and the same. If I hadn't ghosted the army, I'd have become a Reed myself. Live and die by our principles. That's the tragedy, V. Someone's gonna play victim to the other's good intentions. 
Try not to forget that when you're standing over that fucking overgrown neuro drive. Reader Songbird. What would you do in my shoes, Johnny? I am in your shoes, dumbass. For every gonk choice you make. But I can't do dick. But honest to God, V, not fucking around? I don't know. Got no goddamn clue. Well done. The facial morph implant is online. Now all you need is a behavioral imprint. And do me a favor. Don't tell me what you need this for. Thanks for everything. Uh-huh. Right. Hey, procedure's a wrap. V, I hope you're not feeling too raw post for Rita's work. It's time to intercept and supplant the Netrunners. Just one hiccup. Our access to Karen Exotics was cut. They must have discovered us. Wait, seriously? So we lost them? Not entirely. We know they were last in the city center, headed our direction. Find a vantage point near the entrance of Dogtown. You'll grab a trace on the runners as they drive to the meeting. Fucking mess. It's like the place is robbed. Finger on the trait, V. How much longer do you keep me here? I need to like fucking nails, sir. The studio will make you pay for this. Every day is millions lost. Millions! The hell's this? Great question. This pervert is keeping me locked here against my will. Mm -hmm. I am Lena Melina, Queen Bitch of Dogtown. Listen, get me out of here and I'll... I'll let you take me out to dinner. Maybe. 
Guess it's your lucky day. Hey, sweet cheeks, eyes up. Stay at my tits long enough. Bash this asshole in the head and take me home. Put a sock in it, dumbass. <clears throat> Gonk in the boots, my friend, and a uh, partner, Tool. And here I thought we had a fucked up partnership. Let's go upstairs before he gets too riled up. I'll explain everything. Ain't looking good. Would look even worse if you can't explain why you're holding this poor gonk against his will. Jesus Christ. I should be scrolling. You're thanking my sales, my popularity. Mark my words, asshole. My boys will find me. They'll bust me out of this shithole. Tool's been a diehard fan of Lena since the beginning. Relives all her BDs. This being Dogtown, a few days ago we had a power surge. BD Wreath was pulling juice while Tool was, well, being Lena. BD got stuck in his head, sizzled his synapses. Ever since then, he thinks he's the real Lena Molina. Talks like her, acts like her, the whole works. Figuring as you're already a witness to this whole mess, might have a job for you. Who's this Lena chick anyway? She scrolls BDs. Gonzo content and sparkly packaging. Runs with a gang, fucks DJs, snorts designer drugs, and tears up the streets and tricked out rides while squirting lead out the window. Your chum needs a ripper, stat. Take it you want to get him some help? Ah, eh, no need. Tool will get back to normal in no time. Since you're here, willing to pay top eddies if you can help with a little something. We're all so damn protected. It's about capitalizing on the present state of affairs. Catch my drift? I don't, no. Ah, <sighs> look. Store's barely staying afloat. Nobody's buying our squirrels and Hansons, bleeding us dry in rent. Yeah, heads, Nova. Catches your eye. But let's not kid ourselves. Folks in Dogtown ain't ample of the wallet. You want to attract more customers, I get it. But where do I fit into all this? Gotta stay and keep an eye on Tool. Make sure he doesn't off himself or break something. You go get Lena and bring her here for a BD shoot. We'll do a collab. Call it Double Gang Banger. Mm hmm. Lena gets content for an episode. Store's rep gets a boost from her fans. Win win. Lena's rich and famous. Probably gets offers like these all the time. What makes you think she won't just blow us off? Ain't that simple. Markets herself like a star, cause that's what sells. But in reality, she's still waiting for that big break. Okay, I'll get Lena down here. Just need her address. Sent. If we scroll something preem, I'll throw in a little extra. Sounds like a bulletproof plan. What could go wrong? Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post-virtue. Trust me, I've seen it all. More worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Cause right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. Oughta help this poor gonk. Not scrolling like some zoo animal. What would you do? Talk to a ripper? Or someone who knows a thing or two about virtues? Hmm.
Would you finally let me out? Or did you just come here to jerk off? Don't got the key. Oh, then fucking find it. Private collection? Nah, just scrolls Tool was supposed to do maintenance on. here to jerk off. Oh, interesting. Dear Lena, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only catch a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the preem content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Tool. Cute. Started to wish I hadn't burned all my fan mail. Handwritten. Heartfelt, too. Must have been important getting this to her. You for real, Edgar? This really necessary. Who the fuck is Edgar? Are you scared? Hmm. He's a stronger kick to shake sense into him. We'll come back to this.
Heads up. Better get rid of them before they steal our little starlet. I want to try talking to him first. Could be tunes of Linus. Once your chrome ripped out of you? No? Then fuck off! Nice digs. Who lives here? The fuck you care. Turn around and keep walking. Oh. Show yourself, damn it! I'll make it quick for you! Oh. Fuck you! Ugh. And him! has a wicked vibe. Gonna be hard convincing Lena if she catches me breaking in. Better off waiting for her outside. Perfect. Just what we fucking needed. For them to shoot their brains off meat production. Shit, there's Lena. Pretend you're someone important. Lay some uh, studio cool on her. Don't need acting pointers from you, Johnny. Jesus fucking Christ. Did you see what happened? They were like this when I got here. In case the wrong place, wrong time. Sorry for your loss. If they were tombs yours, that is. Ugh, great. What a mess. I'll have to call Melanie, tell her to reopen casting. <sighs> anyway, you want an autograph or something? I'm a talent scout for BD Syndicate, and boy, do I have the perfect role for you. We're piloting a new BD show, and if it takes off and you've got good chemistry with the co-star, we'll dive straight into full production. Whoa, slow down, guy. I might be easy, but I'm not cheap. And I always charge in advance. Ain't a problem. Transfer in now. Wow. You really know how to impress a girl, huh? I take it we've got a deal? We do. Did you bring me my script? Uh, won't be needing one. It's all improvised. Sending you the address. I'll meet you there tonight. The producer, Shank, he'll be waiting for you on location. Uh, got to get ready, do my makeup, nails. Thanks, sweetie. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> 